Shukin's YouTube. Shook here, Shook's Outdoor Adventures. Like Shook almost back here, I'm guaranteed. And uh, uh, yeah, it was just my, my dream uh, bull, biggest bull I've ever got, caribou. Uh, same spot as I was 10 days ago. Um, the Remington 700 sniper build. Um, just crazy. Um, it's really cold out here now. Um, it's only been 10 days in the mountains here off the Denali Highway, and it's way colder than it was my last time. I mean, it's like 20 degrees at times. Um, so it's 2.30 in the afternoon. Um, this is a lot of meat to pack back. Luckily, I'm not too incredibly farther than I was on top of the mountain. It's, it's still maybe an extra mile, so I'm probably two miles from the road. So I got till tomorrow evening to, to get all my meat back. But uh, yeah, it was just crazy. So I just went for it and um, I could only see its antlers at times through the brush. There's a lot of brush out here. Um, so I uh, saw its antlers and um, I got about 350 yards from it and I just started taking shots. It actually took me seven shots to put it down. Uh, I'm not used to the mill dots on the old 700. And uh, I think I had to hold over a little bit, and I was also shooting through brush a lot of the times. Um, so when I hit it, I was actually shooting through brush because um, I could see it pop out at times, but I could see its antlers. And uh, it looks like I only got it once, but I'm gonna check because uh, I might have got them a couple times. But uh, man, this is a monster. This is gonna. This is what I needed. I needed a lot of meat. And I'm going to have a lot of meat. So now the work begins. Um, best subsistence hunt ever on the Denali Highway. Um, I got two miles to the highway. Uh, probably going to have a couple hundred pounds of meat off this guy. Um, man, he's huge. His hindquarters are going to kill me. But uh, there's not as many hunters out this weekend. And uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Um, which is kind of a bad thing too because um, they're not pushing caribou towards me, but uh, there's less pressure. So I'm gonna get this guy backed up. Thank you too, to your friend in the field. Loaded the last bag a couple hours ago of meat. Uh, wow, totally exhausting. I'm I just I'm completely sore, full of blisters, and I'm hurt pretty bad. Um, but what kept me going is I went uh, straight to the roadhouse in Paxson and had a chili cheeseburger with fries. Nice, greasy, small town, little rural restaurant. Um, and, and that was just delicious. It hit the spot. Uh, for some reason, when I'm hunting, I don't eat that much. Uh, all the adrenaline makes me lose my appetite. Um, so I was just snacking on almonds and power bars. But last night, I was so exhausted looking after packing my my last load of meat. Um, There's this nice family camping next to me from Wasilla that cooked me up a giant plate of hot moose meat and, and potatoes. And I slathered that in, in ketchup and had a cup of hot chocolate and went to bed. Um, didn't sleep very good in the car, but uh, the good thing about sleeping in the car is it was completely packed up. And when I took my last bag in... Um, I threw it in here and I was ready to go and I, I just just hit the road um, But yeah, what a hunt just an incredible hunt. I am so lucky everybody's striking out um, All the caribou are staying on the north side of the highway the Denali highway and they're not crossing over because they They finally figured out that they're just gonna be you know slaughtered by all these hunters So they're staying up there behind the lakes. I think a few of them sneak over I just got I, lucky. I um, I glassed this bull. It was a huge bull and it's the first time I really stalked an animal I usually just randomly to run into or I head for a big herd but I, I glassed him a mile away the wind was perfect the wind was coming from him to me it was masking sound masking my scent I flanked him I went up on a, a several knolls above him and uh, you know made a 350 yard shot through brush and downhill uh, you know I'm not a expert sniper it took me a, a few shots to get him but uh I, I shot through brush when I took him out because I could see his antlers and then when I hit him then he dropped and uh, man what an incredible hunt this is my first solo hunt for big game that I, I did myself that I, I didn't bring any buddies to help me pack I just 
went in, stocked my animal, got it, and packed it out myself. Um, and man, that, that feels good, but I, I am hurting. But uh, it's worth it because in a couple days I'll be feeling back to normal and then I'll have all this meat for the year. Um, it's a proxy tag for my father, so I wasn't allowed to keep the antlers. I wouldn't have anyways. I was so tired from packing. Uh, but he's going to have, uh, he's going to pay to have it all um, done up and processed at uh, Alaska Seafood and Sausage. So that's awesome too because I was getting stressed out because I got to work two 16 hour shifts starting tomorrow and I'm not going to have time to process the meat so I was worried about that but uh yeah incredible hunt um you know just even as a native person I, I just feel so wonderful being out there in nature and you know it was a real spiritual experience to take a large bull like that but um yeah that bull was huge it's definitely the biggest one I've ever got and um I'm just lucky because there, there was just every day there was a handful of animals out there just people are complaining nobody's getting anything this weekend uh, you know, I left Friday night and um, slept a couple hours on the road, you know, left at midnight. And then by by noon, I was hunting in my spot. And uh, by 2.30, I had my caribou on the ground. And then the work started from, from there. Uh, but I feel like I know this mountain range really well. Um, I have a couple little tricks of, of kind of where they migrate through and, and easier trails to take. So... Uh, just a great learning experience and probably, you know, my, my best, most favorite hunt so far. So, um, yeah, now it's just about four more hours to Anchorage, maybe five. Um, and, and that's it. Look at Lucas. He is using his little cart. And he's going to be driving that around because his feet hurt from his hunting trip. And I encouraged it, so he's doing it. <laughs> are you having a fun, Lucas? I know you are. <laughs> I told her to do it. Are you ready? Yeah. Uh <laughs>